God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. The word of the Lord is a strong shield for all who put their trust in him. Alleluia. As for God, his ways are perfect. The word of the Lord, purest gold. He indeed is the shield of all who make him their refuge. For who is God but the Lord? Who is a rock but our God? The God who girds me with strength and makes the path safe before me. My feet you made swift as the deer's. You have made me stand firm on the heights. You have trained my hands for battle and my arms to bend the heavy bow. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The word of the Lord is, is a, a strong, strong shield for all who put, put their, their trust, trust in him. him. Alleluia. Your strong right hand has upheld me, Lord. Alleluia. You gave me your saving shield. You upheld me, trained me with care. You gave me freedom for my steps. My feet have never slipped. I pursued and overtook my foes, never turning back till they were slain. I smote them so they could not rise. They fell beneath my feet. You girded me with strength for battle. You made my enemies fall beneath me. You made my foes take flight. Those who hated me I destroyed. They cried, but there was no one to save them. They cried to the Lord, but in vain. I crushed them, fine as dust before the wind, trod them down like dirt in the streets. You saved me from the feuds of the people and put me at the head of the nations. People unknown to me served me, when they heard of me, they obeyed me. Foreign nations came to me cringing. Foreign nations faded away. They came trembling out of their strongholds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Your strong right hand has, has upheld me, me, Lord. Alleluia. Alleluia. May the living God, my Savior, be praised forever. Alleluia. Long life to the Lord, my rock. Praised be the God who saves me, the God who gives me redress and subdues people under me. You saved me from my furious foes. You set me above my assailants. You saved me from violent men. So I will praise you, Lord, among the nations. I will sing a psalm to your name. He has given great victories to his king and shown his love for his anointed, for David and his sons forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. May the living God, my, my Savior, Savior be praised forever. Alleluia. God has raised the Lord to life. Alleluia. Through his power he will also raise us up. Alleluia. From the book of Revelation, one of the seven angels who held the seven bowls filled with the seven last plagues, came and said to me, Come, I will show you the woman who is the bride of the Lamb. He carried me away in spirit to the top of a very high mountain and showed me the holy city, Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. It gleamed with the splendor of God. The city had the radiance of a precious jewel that sparkled like a diamond. 
Its wall, massive and high, had twelve gates at which twelve angels were stationed. Twelve names were written on the gates, the names of the twelve tribes of Israel. There were three gates facing east, three north, three south, and three west. The wall of the city had twelve courses of stones as its foundation, on which were written the names of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. The one who spoke to me held a rod of gold for measuring the city, its gates, and its wall. The city is perfectly square, its length and its width being the same. He measured the city with the rod and found it 12,000 furlongs in length, in width, and in height. Its wall measured 144 cubits in height by the unit of measurement the angel used. The wall was constructed of jasper. The city was of pure gold, crystal clear. The foundation of the city wall was ornate with precious stones of every sort. The first course of stones was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedony, the fourth emerald, the fifth sardonyx, the sixth carnelian, the seventh chrysolite, the eighth beryl, the ninth topaz, the tenth chrysoprase, the eleventh hyacinth, and the twelfth amethyst. The twelve gates were each made of a single pearl, and the streets of the city were of pure gold, transparent as glass. I saw no temple in the city. The Lord, God the Almighty, is its temple, he and the Lamb. The city had no need of sun or moon, for the glory of God gave it light, and its lamp was the Lamb. The nations shall walk by its light, to it the kings of the earth shall bring their treasures. During the day its gates shall never be shut, and there shall be no night. The treasures and wealth of the nations shall be brought there, but nothing profane shall enter it, nor anyone who is a liar or has done a detestable act. Only those shall enter whose names are inscribed in the book of the living, kept by the Lamb. Your streets of gold, Jerusalem, will ring with happy song. Throughout your length and breadth, one great cry from the lips of all. Alleluia. You will shine in splendor like the sun. All men on earth will pay you homage. Throughout your length and breadth, one great cry from the lips of all. Alleluia. From a treatise by St. Gaudentius of Brescia, Bishop. One man has died for all, and now in every church, in the mystery of bread and wine, he heals those for whom he is offered in sacrifice, giving life to those who believe, and holiness to those who consecrate the offering. This is the flesh of the Lamb. This is his blood. The bread that came down from heaven declared. The bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. It is significant, too, that his blood should be given to us in the form of wine. For his own words in the gospel, I am the true vine imply clearly enough that whenever wine is offered as a representation of Christ's passion, it is his blood. This means that it was of Christ that the blessed patriarch Jacob prophesied when he said, he will wash his tunic in wine and his cloak in the blood of the grape. The tunic was our flesh, which Christ was to put on like a garment, and which he was to wash in his own blood. Creator and Lord of all things, whatever their nature, he brought forth bread from the earth and changed it into his own body. 
Not only had he the power to do this, but he had promised it. And as he had changed water into wine, he also changed wine into his own blood. It is the Lord's Passover, scripture tells us. That is, the Lord's passing. We are no longer to look upon the bread and wine as earthly substances. They have become heavenly because Christ has passed into them and changed them into his body and blood. What you receive is the body of him who is the heavenly bread and the blood of him who is the sacred vine. For when he offered his disciples the consecrated bread and wine, he said, this is my body, this is my blood. We have put our trust in him. I urge you to have faith in him. Truth can never deceive. When Christ told the crowds that they must eat his flesh and drink his blood, they were horrified and began to murmur among themselves, this teaching is too hard, who can be expected to listen to it? As I have already told you, thoughts such as these must be banished. The Lord himself used heavenly fire to drive them away by going on to declare, it is the spirit that gives life. The flesh is of no avail. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life. The living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father. Whoever eats me will live because of me. Alleluia. This is my body, which will be given up for you. Whoever eats me will live because of me. Alleluia. Let us pray. Father, in your love you have brought us from evil to good and from misery to happiness. Through your blessings, give the courage of perseverance to those you have called and justified by faith. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. And give him thanks.